Welcome back. Major League Baseball has two major problems. What are those two major problems? Two Major League franchises are in dire need of a stadium. The Oakland Athletics and the Tampa Bay Rays. Today's video, we're going to focus in on the Oakland Athletics and how they need a stadium and their plans for a future stadium and what MLB is doing about it. As well as obviously giving my take and thoughts and opinions on the matter. The Oakland A's have been in Oakland since 1968, going on 55 years going in 2023. Their motto is rooted in Oakland and they started in Philadelphia as the Philadelphia Athletics. If you didn't know, they got the Phillies and the A's came out west. They went to Oakland and you've had the Giants and the A's in the Bay Area since the 60s, early 70s. And the A's have become a, well, they were a once successful franchise. They have won multiple World Series, believe it or not. I was on live in my lifetime to see them win those World Series. They were once a great storied franchise, kind of like the Pittsburgh Pirates. And like the Pittsburgh Pirates, kind of a disaster right now. And that continues as of really today. They made more trades to get rid of talent. And it is what it is. Now, last year, the A's had record low attendances. They were being all over the media as the record low attendance was even worse than some minor league ballparks including their minor league affiliate in las vegas the las vegas aviators are the oakland athletics triple a affiliate they play in summerland they got a brand new ballpark not too long ago and they get pretty good attendance year in and year out ever since the ballpark opened and so some are begging the question should the a's move to las vegas now, I'm never going to be one to advocate for a team to move. I understand it can be a hard process for some fans. And even though we don't see many A's fans at the games, obviously there are A's fans out there. And, you know, a team moving is hard. It comes with a lot of complications, a lot of variables, and go into that. Now, Rob Manfred has come out and stated that the A's are long past any sort of uh, timetable to get a deal done and he keeps extending the deadline kind of as if he does want the A's to get a deal done in Oakland now the A's have explored a Howard terminal project right by the bay and you know a new ballpark and a come with new ballparks these days and even new stadiums these days arenas comes infrastructure and homes and retail stuff and basically a whole plaza of things you know, when you get a stadium these days, it's more than just a stadium. It comes with a lot of other stuff. And that's what the A's were building or planning to build in Oakland. They have not yet settled on an agreement to build that. And the A's lease at the Oakland Coliseum runs out after the 2024 season. Now, what will they do after the 24 season? I don't know. Obviously, there will not be a stadium done in Las Vegas or Oakland by then. They will probably be extending it a couple year, year by year thing. The Raiders had a similar problem before they ended up moving to Las Vegas. Where will they move in Las Vegas? Now, sources have said they might move and tear down the Tropicana right next to Mandalay Bay. As big as the strip may seem, there are some random empty spaces and lots on the strip that don't get seen. And the Tropicana, there's a there's a bit of an empty space next to Mandalay Bay. So I think they could use that spot and tear down Tropicana and build a ballpark there. I think that's probably the best number one spot. They've also talked about North Strip, but North Strip is kind of, you know, in the abyss uh, to say. And so I think tearing down Tropicana might be the best move. And so the A's are in turmoil. Where do they go from here? I think the best move for the Oakland A's is to become the Las Vegas A's and whether they keep the name A's, that's on them. It is in the franchise's best recommendations to move to Las Vegas. I think the A's will benefit from that. I think Major League Baseball will benefit from that. And again, the Las Vegas market has been proven to make money. And I think the fans in Vegas will support the baseball team. They show out to the ballpark even five years later after it's been built. And so I don't think the A's will have that much of a problem with fans attendance. And I also don't think the A's will have that much of a problem with building a winning team. They have been proven to build winning teams and then they just kind of tear it all apart because they get knocked out super early in the playoffs. And so 
I'm not sure about an ownership change, but I think moving to Vegas gets them in the right direction, and gets them a change of scenery, and gets them some fresh faces in a new market. And you know, Vegas has been proven to support uh, Vegas teams in the Golden Knights and the Raiders. Now people want to say what they want to say about the Raiders, but they have good attendance and it's a highly sought after market. And so I think the A's will benefit from that, no pun intended, into the Oakland fans. But I think at the end of the day, it's going to happen. Now, I could be totally wrong, and if I'm wrong, great. But I think the A's will end up moving to Vegas. I don't have a timeline or a prediction date, but I think the A's will end up in Las Vegas. And I think at the end of the day, it's the right move. And yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to sign off on this video. Let me know in the comments section down below what y'all think about the Oakland A's. Whether or not Las Vegas or Oakland will get the A's. With that being said, I'm going to sign off. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys again later.